And you know what dawned on me earlier this week? I've never done a video on the original Taken, done videos on the inferior sequels, but never the original, and that, my friends, is a wrong that needs to be righted today. So let's do that. Taken. That was my Liam Neeson. <laughs> Might not be the last time in this video. So what can I say about Taken that hasn't already been said about Taken? Taken's completely badass. When I saw the trailer, I was like, that movie might be good. And I saw it, I was like, it's, it was just better than I thought it was gonna be. It's a movie that keeps it in the pocket the entire time. When I think about a movie in which simple isn't an insult, simple is actually a compliment. It uses its simplicity to its advantage. Taken is definitely up there on the list because the premise is completely simple. It's about a dad played by Liam Neeson and his daughter's being kidnapped over in France and he's like, all right, here I come. With one of the greatest monologues ever. It's an important monologue. Actually, it's the most important part of this entire movie, I think. That scene where he's like, Kim, this is very important. They're going to take you. Dads don't usually act that way when their daughters are about to be kidnapped. So right there, you know this guy definitely, he indeed does have a particular set of skills. And we're talking, he doesn't door to door sell vacuums. He has, he has other skills. But the reason this scene is important is because he gives this guy the opportunity to just walk away. It's profoundly important for the setup and execution of this entire movie. I mean, the bad guys in this movie are kidnappers and traffickers of women. So we, the audience, we didn't need an excuse for them to be put into the ground. But now the movie makes it that personal because it shows us the phone call conversation between Liam Neeson and the one who kidnapped his daughter. Not only do we see the guy be a dick about it and basically verbally smack the dad of the person he just kidnapped. Good luck. But now we saw Liam Neeson give this guy a warning. He legit warned him. He didn't need to do that. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. And the guy completely ignores the warning. So not only are we on Liam Neeson's side, but the bad guy ignored the warning. And cinema law says he must be punished. I don't make it up, it's cinema law. Really, the movie could have happened with or without that phone call. But the fact that that phone call happened, I just feel like it shifts the dynamic of this entire, the, the vibe of the movie. The phone call is the thing in this movie that makes the movie. Humor me for a second. Try to imagine the plot of Taken playing out exactly how it did without that phone call. It's just like, you can't do it. God, there's like half this video is talking about that one phone call. It's awesome though. It's one of the reasons Taken to me just, it seems to have more nuance, it seems smarter, it seems like a passion project of sorts. And it being the Liam Neeson show, the movie just has amazing pacing. We have enough set up to get a grasp on the family dynamic. We have enough set up to see Liam Neeson's love for his daughter, or at the very least, paranoia. <laughs> this is Taken's the ultimate I told you so movie. This entire time, this dad is so paranoid that bad things are gonna happen to his daughter. And the moment he lets his guard down, a bad thing happens. That's right, there's a lesson to be learned for the dad, Liam Neeson, in this movie. And that lesson is never listen to other people. If you're paranoid, you're not paranoid enough. You'd be more paranoid. But whereas the setup doesn't waste your time, it's not too long. And before long, we just, we have Liam Neeson with this guy in a cab and he's just punching him. And from there, the movie with excellent pacing just takes you through the story. The, well, the story being dad going to get his daughter back. Like I said, simple, but the simplicity is part of the beauty of it. But where the movie really makes me go, okay, you're doing that movie thing, is when the bad guys have the opportunity to kill Liam Neeson, they're like, no, no, let's tie him up and monologue to him so we can give him the opportunity to escape. And then the movie ends and it never feels too long. It doesn't feel too long winded in its setup. The movie never feels like it's dragging its feet. It's just, it's just long enough. It's just long or short enough to be perfect. I'm not saying the movie's flawless. I'm saying for what it's going for, it is perfect execution. You know me, I love movies like this to have the simple pure motivations. This dad following the path to the ones who kidnapped his daughter, littering the path with bodies along the way. Whether it be that or a guy looking for the one who killed his dog, littering the path with bodies along the way. There's something about those simple plots that I find perfect in my enjoyment. I'm actually kind of convinced that John Wick happened because Taken happened. Taken was that thing that was like, okay, revenge flicks are there now. It's a movie that was so glorious, the sequels never lived up to it. Neither did any movie in which Liam Neeson was now the badass that happened after Taken. There were a slew of those movies. You know, Liam Neeson was like the go-to badass guy. Never enjoyed any of those post-Taken Liam Neeson is a badass 
past movies as much as I enjoyed Taken. I don't even know what to rate it because as I always enjoy it when I rewatch it, nothing beats that time, that first time I watched Taken. I walked out of the movie theater, my friend and I were like, that was, that was too badass. I suppose it's a worth buying on Blu-ray kind of movie, but in the end, in the words of the great Harrison Ford, um, I don't care. Cause to me, Taken absolutely is awesome-tacular. All right, so Taken, have you seen it? What did you think about it? I feel like you probably have by now, but hey, you never know. But regardless, what's your favorite revenge tale? Whatever movie it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.